Go. We're going to be talking about punctuation, and punctuation has three basic jobs that it does. First, it splits parts of a sentence up. Second, it connects parts of a sentence. And third, it tells us when things have been left out of a sentence. So to begin our talk about punctuation, first we have to understand, we have to get some vocabulary going. And the first thing to understand is a clause. Now for the purposes of this class, a clause is a group of words that could be a sentence if only it had a period after it. So what does a sentence need? To have a sentence, what do you have to have? Verb. A verb, good. Noun. And a noun. And it has to make a complete thought. So three things, a noun, a verb or a predicate, it's often called subject predicate, and it has to complete a thought. So let's, let's look at an example. The car is dead. So often the case on really cold mornings. So the car is dead has a subject, has a verb, and it completes a thought. And so we end it with a period. That's basic. You learned that in the second grade, right? Maybe the first. Uh, but we can change this so that it doesn't make a complete thought. Although the car is dead. And it still has a subject. It still has a verb. But because we've, we've put a conjunctive adverb at the beginning, it no longer expresses a complete thought. It doesn't feel final to you, does it, Jordan? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. So, what this is, is a clause. Okay? And there are different kinds of clauses. The first kind of clause we're going to learn about is called the main clause. Besides a main clause, what kind of clause can this be called, Jordan? Independent. An independent clause. That's right. Okay. And for the purposes of our discussion, we can also call it Mr. Claus, okay? Now, sometimes a sentence has more than one clause. Although the car is dead, the bike still works. See, there's my plural. Okay, so here we have the main clause. The bike still works is the main part of the sentence, also called an independent clause, right? But this part up here is subordinate because it has this little beginning section that keeps it from expressing a, a complete thought. So this is a subordinate clause. This is a main clause. And we can think of this as Mrs. Clause. Mr. Claus and Mrs. Claus combined together create a more intriguing, full, rich whole. So the subordinate clause, like Mrs. Claus, and the independent clause, like Mr. Claus, work together to create a full, rich union that's more exciting and has more to it than either one of them by themselves. But both of them is a full and complete unit by themselves. Either clause if you struck that out, either clause could work as an independent clause. Okay? 